Months, the Aid on Your Side team has been telling you about data breaches, but hackers are not stopping at your information. Government reporter Pete Mungine investigated who's protecting the risks that are close to home. In the shadow of Harrisburg, power plants such as Three Mile Island are a favorite of cyber terrorists. A government study shows 41% of cyber attacks are on the energy sector and deems the nation's 5,800 power plants vulnerable. Well, I think it is a huge looming issue. U.S. House Republican Scott Perry's on the subcommittee for cybersecurity. It's investigating how hackers could melt down a plant after they caused metaphorical meltdowns for Target, Home Depot, and Sony last year. Here in Washington, it's a question of your taxpayer dollars and whether it should be spent to protect private companies. Taxpayers that say, why is it my tax dollar? Why is it my, you know, why is it the government's problem to protect a civilian industry where they're making profits, where they're on the stock market? Working together. Even President Obama says the public and private sectors must share the funding burden. Eight on your side wanted to know the stance of my parent company, Exelon, but it denied our request for an interview. I think we're going to have to find a... Finding the right funding balance will be tough says clean energy advocate Eric Epstein. And we don't want to create the precedent where the private company keeps running back to the taxpayer to be bailed out. My concern is, is that we're just going to take too long and something could happen. Hopefully, if something does happen, it'll be a minor event that will kind of shock us into moving more rapidly. A continued push for Washington to target power plants so cyber terrorists can't. At the U.S. Capitol, Pete Muntean, News 8. Really something to think about, isn't it? Yeah, and Pete put a lot of effort into that, and it's an eye-opener.